Hi, Robin. I'm surprised you're not on the Quidditch pitch. I was headed that way when I got distracted by this. Fireworks. These aren't just any fireworks. They're Weasley's wildfire whiz-bangs. Where'd you get them? They were just sitting here. No one was around, so I thought I'd try some out. What did it hurt? You could blow yourself up. Or get detention. Come on. You know you want to see what they can do. Oh, all right. Maybe just one. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Weasley. What are you doing here? Just pop by to see my old friend Neville. I mean, Professor... Longbottom. He insists on being called that. Can't imagine why. Enjoying the wildfire whizbangs, are you? Yes! They're fantastic! Oh, are these yours? They were. Now they're yours. Just don't tell the headmistress. You know, right after Fred and I invented these, we unleashed them rather unceremoniously during the OWLs. It was quite brilliant, if I may say so myself. I bet you got detention for that. Better. We got our own educational decree. That's what Umbridge called them. Fancy word for rules. Oh. Kev told me about her. Really mean witch who tried to take over as headmistress a while back, right? Yep. Evil woman. Weaseled her way into Hogwarts after Dumbledore was fired, briefly. So what happened with the exams and the fireworks? It was the best prank ever. Fred and I had enough of Umbridge. So we took every last firework we made and set them off during the Charms OWLs. One of them chased Umbridge straight out of the hall and destroyed all her precious decrees. They were hung right over there. Must have been hundreds. Felt like thousands. Rather impressive. Everyone got a kick out of it. Except Umbridge. Right, except her. But she had it coming. Like I said, she was pure evil. Sounds like you caused a lot of trouble when you were a student. <laughs> oh, you have no idea.
Hagrid, what's going on? As ah, their gnomes, ruddy little beasts are ruining my pumpkins. Speaking of which, would you like some first-hand experience dealing with a gnome infant? matter, Kevin? You look like you're about to vomit. Professor McGonagall just told me my Vera Verto transfiguration is flawless. And that's bad? Yes, because she's asked me to demonstrate it in front of the whole class tomorrow. What if I mess up? Everyone will laugh. I'll be humiliated. You'll be fine, Kevin. After all, You've practiced that spell hundreds of times. All you've got to do is relax. Easier said than done. I wish there was something I could do to ease your nerves. Well, you could help me brew a draft of peace. It's a potion that relieves anxiety and agitation. But we'll need some hellebore. I think there's some in the greenhouses. I'm sure Professor Longbottom wouldn't mind if we took some. I hope not. Any more butterflies in my stomach and I fear I might just float away. What do you think you're doing? Harvesting hellebore. I can see that. 
What I am asking is, do you have permission to take that hellebore? Well, no, not technically. But it's really important that we get it, and I'm sure Professor Longbottom wouldn't mind. He might not, but I do. And seeing as Professor Longbottom put me in charge until he returns from Hogsmeade, my word goes. Though I could be persuaded to give some hellebore up if Kevin beats me in a duel. I've had a long day, and I could use something, or someone, to take out my frustrations on. Cassandra's the best duelist in our year. There's no way I can beat her. Oh, come on. Let's just go. I'll tell you what. I'm feeling generous, so I'll even let you partner up. Merlin knows you could use all the help you can get. Come on, Kevin. You're a talented wizard. You can do this. You just need to believe in yourself. Believe in myself? Right. I'll try. I'm not going to hold back. Not even a little, please. Don't give up before you've even started, Kevin. Just trust in your training and let your instincts do the rest. Unicorn! Nippler! Thunderbird! Fantastic bomb! just a fluke. But I suppose a deal is a deal. Hurry up and take the hellebore and get out. You don't have to tell us twice. Uh, come on, Kevin. We've got a draft of peace to brew. Are you ready to start brewing? Actually, about that, I don't think I need the draft of peace after all. Really? But what about your demonstration in front of the entire class? That duel with Cassandra made me realize that you're right. Everything I need to succeed is inside me. I just have to trust myself and let my muscle memory take over. Cassandra underestimated me. I don't blame her. I underestimated myself, and I recognize that now, in doing so, I was unknowingly sabotaging myself. I'm proud of you, Kevin. It really sounds like you've grown. I have, haven't I? I can't promise I'll never doubt myself, or that speaking in front of large groups of people won't make me want to vomit, but at least I know I'll always have at least one person who believes in me. Aw, oh, Kevin. Besides, Cassandra's more intimidating than my whole Transfiguration class put together. 
I can handle a duel with her, I think I can handle a little demonstration. That said, why don't you keep the hellebore and brew a draught apiece? You never know when it might come in handy. Thanks, Kevin. I think I'll do just that. Myself am a fan also. After all, who doesn't aspire to be a master duelist? I'd be very interested in seeing your duels, if I do say so myself. some errands, but I don't want to leave Fang alone. He's uh, not been acting himself, you see. Uh, would you mind watching him till I get back? Of course not, Hagrid. You go. I'll see if I can't get him to calm down. Thanks. I'll be back as soon as I can. gotten into you, Fang, but I'm sure it's nothing a treat won't fix. I'll bet Hagrid has some around here somewhere. Well, that was close. Not to mention out of character. 
The Fang's never been aggressive towards me, or anyone else, for that matter. Something must be bothering him. Perhaps, if I look around, I can find some clue as to what that something is. colored pink feathers over here. What bird could have shed these? Those are the Fwoopers from yesterday's Care of Magical Creatures class. They must have gotten loose. If I remember correctly, their song can cause insanity. That's why you've been acting so odd, isn't it, Fang? I better take care of them before I fall under their song's effects too. I think poor Fang's been affected by the Fwoopa's song. Ah, nothing a few days rest won't fix. I'm just relieved you're safe. And sane. I got halfway to Hogsmeade, when I realized I forgot to reapply the silencing charm on the Fwoopers I keep for care of magical creatures class. Silencing charm? Is that to prevent the Fwoopers from driving anyone insane with their song? That's right. It has to be cast monthly or... Well, you get this. That's one of the requirements for owning Foopers. Normally, I'm more on top of it than this. I've been so busy with a project of mine that I plum forgot. Sorry, I should have recognized Fang's symptoms sooner. It's all right, Hagrid. No harm done. Yeah, thanks to you. If you hadn't stopped these Foopers, all of Hogwarts could have ended up like Fang. Fang and I are mighty grateful that you cleaned up after us, aren't we, Fang? to eat breakfast first. Eat fast. Gossamer said he'd show us a secret passage to the school kitchens this morning. Keep it up and you'll become Filch's VIP. Relax, Daniel. It's not like we'll be doing anything bad. Just searching for some more fun places. Oh, look! Post arrived! my first copy of the Daily Prophet. 
Now we can keep up with current events. And the latest Quidditch standings, of course. And the... Hey! <laughs> hey, Colby. Looks like someone fancies himself a cultured sort. Reads the Daily Prophet, he does. That's mine. Give it back, Rock. Oh, <laughs> what? You'll curse us? Do you even know how to use that one? Tim, maybe not. But we know how to use ours. Fiend fire. Swelling spot. Monster bull. right. In fact, you made two of them. Good. If you both hate me, I won't have to learn how to tell you apart, will I? Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Now, how about you read us some of those current events you mentioned before? Sure. Uh, here's something. The Ministry had to obliviate over 400 muggles after all the statues in Trafalgar Square popped off the pedestals and danced a jig. No one's claimed responsibility, but it must have been not me. What? N-O-T-M-E. The Nocturnal Order of Tricks and Magical Exhibitions. They've taken credit for quite a few illegal displays like this. <laughs> it's quite the scandal. Apparently, the group's goal is to make magic known to all. All? As in everybody? Muggles included? Sounds like trouble if you ask me. Why? You don't think Muggles will accept magic when they see it? Well, one at a time, maybe, but as a group, Muggles tend to be a bit hysterical, don't they? That's why we've got the, uh, um, what's it called, Kevin? The International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy. Right, that one. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got our own secrets to uncover. Come on, Kevin. I don't know. Should we keep magic from muggles? What do you think, Daniel? Well, keeping magic a secret seems rather selfish, doesn't it? It might actually do some good to be more open with muggles. Maybe not all of them, but... So, Daniel Page wants to make magic with muggles. Contemplating a life of crime, are we? Or are you just looking to see your name in the paper? I'm not a criminal, Cassandra. No, you sound like one. Personally, I find the whole thing ridiculous. Silly muggles, scared of their own shadows. Frightening muggles isn't funny. If you couldn't do magic, you'd be scared too. Let me guess. Mummy is a muggle, isn't she? Shut up. She's not worth it. And I suppose you have something against the non-magical, is that it? Not at all. My uncle is a muggle and he's hilarious. I just have a greater respect for the law, unlike some people. Sounds to me like you don't respect anyone, except yourself. 
charming. Ivy, the girl who was late on the first day of school, trying to teach me some sort of lesson. Shut up, Cassandra. You don't know what you're talking about. You just watch yourself, Daniel Page. My father works for the Ministry. One owl from me, and you'll be locked up in Azkaban with all the other criminals. See you in class, Ivy. Oh, unless you're late again, that is. Ignore her, Daniel. <laughs> She's just a bully. I'm fine. Let's go before... Wait. Where's Ivy? Excuse me. Did you see our friend pass by? I saw two friends pass by, although the second did not seem very friendly. In fact, the way she was glaring at the first, I'm not so sure they were friends at all. That doesn't sound good. Which way did they go? Around the corner. Better hurry before someone gets hurt. Hey, Cassandra! Ugh, you again. What is it, Ivy? You didn't really get lost again, did you? I don't care what you say about me, but you should apologize to Daniel. Apologize for what? Telling the truth? <laughs> oh, Ivy, you're not going to fight me over Daniel Page, are you? You should learn to choose your friends more carefully. That boy is no good. Daniel is not a criminal. of armor. It's all gone. Vanished. Ivy, did you mean to do that to Cassandra? That's crazy. No, I swear. I have no idea what that was. I have no idea why I cast that spell. But that's a powerful spell, Ivy. Where did you even learn it? Did I? I really can't remember. Evanesco is a very advanced spell, especially for a first-year student. And you can work on your memory in detention. All three of you. Do we really have to polish every suit of armor in the corridor? Without magic? That's what the professor said. I'm sorry. If I could control my temper, we wouldn't be in this mess. It's my fault. I shouldn't be so sensitive about my family. It's just... she got under my skin. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Cassandra should be the one apologizing. I don't get it. How can a person be so cruel? I can't believe she hasn't even got detention. She's probably had more experience avoiding punishment. And that's a lesson you'll need to learn. Unless you want to spend all your free time in detention. Yes, Professor Longbottom. And I am sorry about what happened. I still don't remember where I heard that spell. Heard and practiced, Miss Warrington. Evanesco is not an easy spell to master. Keep thinking on it. And polish it. Good night. You really don't remember, Ivy? No. I just... I just know how to use it. I don't know where I learned it. Or who taught it to me. Monster book! Swellings! Thunderbird! Fantastic bomb! Nifla! Nick. 
bomb, plastic bomb. I'll help. This will be easy. Swellings. Monster bull. Thunderbird. I'm exhausted. Let's never get in trouble again. Oh, agreed. I solemnly swear that I only do good. Starting now. Hello, my friends. I have news. The sneaky girl is off sneaking. Sneaking? What girl? What are you on about, Gossamer? That girl who made trouble for you, the blonde one. I kept watch over her to make sure she didn't try to do anything evil ever again. I think he means Cassandra. If she's sneaking around in the middle of the night, that is suspicious. That doesn't mean she's being evil. She might be, I don't know, sleepwalking. Oh no, my friends. She was most certainly wide awake and up to no good. I'm sure of it. I heard her talking to the two boys that looked like one. She clearly mentioned Ivy and Daniel by name and said she knew family secrets that would require investigation and possibly expulsion. Okay, that doesn't sound good. She might be out to get us. Fine, maybe we should see what she's up to. Then it's settled. Where did she go, Gossamer? Thanks, Gossamer. You are most welcome. Be careful, my friends. What are they doing? Is he right? They must be sneaking into the restricted section. I don't think so. It looks like they're in the periodical section. Reading. That's not very devious. Uh, maybe they're just doing homework. No, Cassandra didn't want to be seen. She's up to something. I agree. So, what do we do? I'm not sure. Maybe if we... Wait! One of the twins seems to have left. Spying on us, eh? Cassandra! Look what I found. Daniel Page and his little friends. I'm not surprised. Through with detention already? <gasps> Or are you just lost again, hoping to be rescued? You're the one who's going to need rescuing, Cassandra. Breaking into the library after hours, that'll get you detention for sure. It's not breaking in if you have written permission from the head of your house. That doesn't prove anything. And what were you looking for? Couldn't wait until morning. Something you don't want anyone else to see, perhaps. Contrary, I'd be happy to share. It's just a little local history. Here, I'll give you a clue. How much do you really know about each other? Or about each other's families? What's that supposed to mean? It means some people aren't who they say they are. You don't know anything about my family. Nickler. Monster book. Fiend fire. Swelling song. Whisper. 
around the back and you'll see some real magic. This, this isn't over. You think you're all such good friends, but you don't even know a thing about each other. What would you know about friendship, Cassandra? I know who I can trust, Daniel Page. Is everyone all right? Nothing a good healing spell can't fix. Stand still, Daniel. Episky. Thanks. And thanks for sticking by me. You must think I'm loony for starting a fight over nothing. Cassandra's all talk. She doesn't know anything. Actually, I think she does about my family. The truth is, most of them are in prison. But here's my family with the bloody pages and the That is the That's why I like it here. Nobody knows who I am. It's my secret. This is from a muggle newspaper, isn't it? Yeah. Dad's a muggle. My older brother, Reggie, he's a squib. They're both in a muggle prison. It's just me and my older sister now. What about your mother? Wait, I do remember something. Is she in Azkaban? How... how could you know that? I don't know. I just... remember. I must have read about it. Is it true? Yes. It's true. Mom's old. So when Dad was arrested, she tried to help me, but only ended up scaring a bunch of muggles. She didn't mean to hurt anyone. The Ministry still accused her of being part of Not Me and sent her to Azkaban, all because it's illegal to perform magic in front of muggles. Stupid law. I'm sorry we can't change the law, but we can keep your secret. We won't tell a soul. We promise. That's right. And if Cassandra thinks she knows something, we'll just have to make sure she forgets it. I might know an advanced memory charm we can use. Thank you. That means a lot. Come on, we'd better get back. If Filch catches us, it'll be detention. Or worse. What about Cassandra? But we still never found what she was looking at. Whatever it was, we'll find it later. Come on, let's go.
はようこんにちはこんばんはいつ見てるかは